Republican polls in the Hawkeye State getting crucial support from State Senator Kent Sorensen. Just hours after Senator Sorensen resigned as Michelle Bachman's Iowa chairman. State Senator Sorensen joins me live right now. Senator, thank you so much for being here on the program. Boy, you know how to cause a controversy, don't you, sir? <laughs> that was not my intention, but I, I believe you have to do what's right. All right, let's just tell the viewers what you did. You were her, Michelle Bachman's campaign chair in Iowa, and you're a big deal out there, so it meant a lot. Nonetheless, Ron Paul's folks really, really wanted you to support him and were trying to woo you away, and he had campaigned for you when you were running, and nonetheless, you, you really felt you belonged with Bachman until yesterday. So you show up at an event with Michelle Bachman, then they say three hours later, you walk onto Ron Paul's stage and say you're defecting, going to Ron Paul's camp. People are apoplectic now and calling you disloyal. What say you? Uh, I, I think you got the facts a little wrong there. Uh, first of all, I, you know, I was always in the Ron Paul camp before Michelle came into the scene. Uh, I ran for the Iowa House in 2008 when the Republican establishment refused to help me, said that I, I lived in a district that could not be won by a Republican. Uh, and, and Barack Obama was marching across the state, uh, taking it by storm and across the country. They refused to come to my aid. The only people that came to my aid in 2008 was, was the very people that are running the Ron Paul campaign now. Uh, so that, that's the first instance of their help for me. The second was in 2010. All right, but I, I don't, I don't want to get too deep in the weeds here on Iowa politics, because frankly, our viewers don't really care that much about your reelection battle, with all due respect. What they do yeah, care yeah, about but is with this all due battle. Respect, with all due respect, you, you asked me a question, I'm going to answer that question. Okay, go ahead. Uh, the, the, okay, and then in 2010, he did three fundraisers for me. Um, they helped me again. These, are, these people are my constituents. They door knocked for me. They, they worked hard for me. And we're, we're at a time where we're seeing a frugal socialist like Mitt Romney and a, a conservative like Ron Paul in the top tier of this race. And I believe I had to make a tough choice. It, it, it was painful for me to make, uh, but I, I believe I made, I made the right choice. And I'm going to help put uh, Ron Paul over the top. And you but know, you a lot made of people the are choice. asking, you why did you? You made the choice to support I, I'm getting, Michelle I'm getting Bachman, to that, Megan. And then you decided to, that, to and then you changed your mind. What made you change your mind? I, I was just going to answer that before you asked it, so I'm glad you asked it for me. Uh, the first thing that changed my mind is, is first of all, uh, you know, you got to understand, I was talking to Congresswoman Bachman in February of this year, well before Ron Paul got into the presidential race. And when she asked me if I would come on to her campaign, if she decided to run, she asked me if I would be her state chair. I, I decided I would make a phone call to the Ron Paul campaign to see what their intentions were. I called them and asked them if they were going to get in the race. At that time, they, they were unsure. They said they were waiting for Ron Paul to answer. Uh, two weeks go by, I decided to sign up with Michelle. And uh, I've worked hard. I gave her 110%. I believe we're at a time where Michelle is not going to win Iowa. Um, I think we're, you know, I, I, I'm seeing Ron Paul in a tough battle, and I knew that uh, he came to my aid when I was in two tough battles, and I decided that it was time for me to come to his aid and help put him over the top because I do not want uh, Mitt Romney to be running for, for our nominee. Now, I know that uh, Michelle Bachman was not happy with this, and uh, her campaign was not happy with this, understandably. Uh, but they came out and said, and she said you told her personally, she said it was right from your lips to her ears, that you were paid by the Ron Paul campaign to jump ship, and she doubled down on that in a radio interview uh, that was given today. Take a listen, sir. I want to get your response. Sure. I can tell you the conversation that I had directly with Kent Sorensen. He told me himself that he was offered money, a lot of money, by the Ron Paul campaign. And it was very clear that this effort to offer him money happened after the Sioux City debate, after we were gaining tremendous momentum in all 99 counties across Iowa. People were flipping away from Ron Paul. They were coming and deciding to vote for Michelle Bachman. And that was when the Ron Paul campaign offered money from Kent Sorensen to my ears, telling me that he was offered a great deal of money. And that's why he left. Is the congresswoman yeah. making that up? Yeah, unfortunately, I, I believe she is. I mean, that conversation did not happen. Uh, the, uh, the, the, I mean, even her own campaign staffer, Wes Enos, is, who's her Iowa political director, uh, made a statement last night uh, denying that and coming to my defense. And that's her, within her own ranks. He, he did criticize me for my decision. He said he still stands with Michelle because he believes in her, but he said that uh, he's not going to let a good man like myself be dragged through the mud. 
So I think it's unfortunate they're choosing those type of tactics. I think if I was Michelle Bachman, I would focus more on, on a presidential candidate than, than trying to destroy somebody that she's unhappy with. I just want to be clear because we, you know, these are these are high stakes. Well, you, you are maybe, alleging no, that Michelle. That. Let me just ask the question. You are alleging that sure. Congresswoman Michelle Bachman is lying. That that is an explicit lie. You never told her that you were offered I, money I, from the Ron Paul campaign to jump ship. No, I never had those conversations with, with Michelle Bachman. Or and, anybody uh, on her and, team? And, and the real, absolutely. And, and, and the real uh, crutch of the matter is going to come out in a week when the financial reports come out. I mean, you can look at Ron Paul's expenditures and, and, and it'll be very clear. Right, but was it offered to you? Was money offered to you by anybody from the Ron Paul camp to jump ship? Absolutely not. Because now the, the, um, there's an AP story out on a woman named Susan Geddes, who's a veteran operative and conservative uh, circles in Iowa. She managed your 2008 and 2010 legislative races, and the AP is quoting Sorensen, uh, I'm sorry, is quoting Susan Geddes as saying, you told her several times as recently as last month that indeed the Ron Paul campaign had offered you money to leave Michelle Bachman. Is that, is, is, is Susan Geddes, if quoted accurately by the AP, also telling a falsehood? I, I, didn't, I didn't have that conversation with Susan. Um, I think it's unfortunate that, that we've come to this, this, in this, in this particular race. And uh, the fact of the matter is I did not accept any money from the Ron Paul campaign. But, but, you know, as you know, accept is different than offered. And I just want to make clear, you're also saying they never offered it. Uh, no one, not, not Ron Paul, not anybody affiliated with his campaign or supporting his campaign offered you any money uh, to support I Ron Paul. I was, I, was, I was never offered a nickel from the Ron Paul campaign. Or anybody associated with it. Never, never offered a nickel. Okay. All right. Well, Senator, thank you very much. Again, as, as I say, you know how to create some controversy, sir. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens over the next few days as we gear up for the Iowa caucuses. They happen this Tuesday night, and we're taking your thoughts on it at Kelly at FoxNews.com, sir. All the best to you. Well, we are tapped right into the political pipeline.